अम्मा कम क्विकली अम्मा वॉट है My stomach is really hurting badly. Oh. Oh. Just two minutes, Chitra. My homemade remedy is almost ready. It will cure your stomach in seconds. Huh? Hmm. What is this? Ooh. Rotten vegetables. These aren't rotten, Amma. Just cheaper. I don't know how cheap they are, but I can definitely smell stinginess in these. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm? In order to save some money, you have begun thinking like Udanka. Huh? I'm really scared you might face the same fate as he did. Who's Udanka? And what fate, Amma? Huh? Really? Is it the effect of Amma's remedy, or are you feeling better after Amma scolded me? Amma's remedy will show its effect in a while. But people here start feeling better just by listening to her wonderful stories. <laughs> Story. <laughs> Chiru, Babu, Gopi. Huh? It's story time with Sudha. In Vijayanagar, they used to live a person named Udanka. Just like everyone has their unique identity, Udanka was known for his stinginess. He was so miserly that he used to wear his sandals in his hands. <laughs> it was so much fun. What a wonderful wedding it was. Such lavish arrangement, tasty food and those coconut sweets. Wow, wow, wow. I have never eaten such tasty coconut sweet in my lifetime, Manis honey. <laughs> you haven't eaten such coconut sweets? And me, I have never tasted a single sweet after marrying a miser like you. Huh. Oh my dear, let the next party invitation come. I'll keep two extra sweets for you. But God knows when will the next party happen. Why wait for the next party? Just bring me the coconut and I'll make it for you. Wait, what am I asking for? To ask you to bring coconuts is such a waste of time. Because you're such a miser, just to save money, you don't even wear your sandals on your feet. You're so stingy that you don't even buy wheat and lentils, and you wish to have coconut sweets. Forget about the wheat and lentils. If you are ready to make coconut sweets, I'll bring the coconut right away. What do you say? Mm. Okay, sure. Go get it. I'll get it now. Buy fresh and healthy coconuts. Buy fresh and healthy coconuts. Uh. How much for a coconut? Each coconut costs only five coins. Mm. Uh, 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 five coins? Mm. Uh, uh, you should be ashamed of quoting such mm. a high price. <laughs> Lower the price for me, money is honey. If you want to save money, then walk for ten miles in this direction, and you can get the coconuts for just three coins each. What? The mm. same coconut in just three coins instead huh? of five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why should I waste my sweat for this? I can use it later somewhere. Udanka reaches the other coconut seller, where his greed to save money increases. If you want these coconuts in two coins instead of three, walk for another ten miles in this direction. To save money, I can travel to any corner of the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I could get some ride, wow. Got it. <laughs> Why didn't it kick me harder? At least that way I could have fallen right at the coconut shop. Uh, listen, I have walked here all the way from Vijayanagar. 
Do you want me to break coconuts to welcome you? That would be great, if possible. You can keep the water and the peel. Just give me the coconut. Money is honey. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, can I get the full huh? coconut in one coin, please? Why not? You came here from so far. Take this coconut. Huh? What is this? I had asked for the entire coconut, but it's just the coconut shell. For one coin, you'll get only this. Now just leave. Go away. Go, go from here. Ah. My friend, you can get the coconuts free of cost. Hey? All you need to do is walk hey? another 10 miles from uh, here. Once you reach uh -huh. the beach, you can pluck as many coconuts you want for free. Oh. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> so many coconuts! My coconuts! <laughs> come on! Oh, come on! What is this happening? Save me! Somebody help me get down. Please, anybody listening, please! Help! Is anybody listening? Money is honey! Uh, hmm? uh, how did this happen? How, why, when? I'll tell you everything. But first, help me get down from here, please! Uh -huh. But how can I help you? You are handling such a big elephant. But can't you use a little bit of your brain? Money, huh? Zani! Just stand on your elephant and hold my leg so that I can get down. Is it okay? Oh, no. This will take so much time. And I'm in a little hurry, you know. But yeah, if you give me a hundred coins, then I might help you. Otherwise... Hundred coins? <laughs> I came here walking just to save some money. And you are asking me for a hundred coins? No, no. I'm not forcing you to do this. Take all the time you need while hanging on the tree. I'll take your leave. Wait, wait, wait. I'm ready. I'll give you a hundred coins. <laughs> you just get me down from here. <laughs> Let's go, Apu. Hmm. Ah, good job. Keep going. Come on, stretch your legs a bit. Oh no, Apu! Don't leave me hanging, Apu! I came here to help you, and now I'm also hanging with you. <laughs> Who do I call now? I cannot see anyone around. Someone is there. Help us! Save us! Huh? Yeah! Huh? <laughs> now only you can help us get down, brother, please. Mm? Well, sure. Why not? It will only take 1,000 coins in return for helping you. Mm. What? 1,000 coins? <laughs> Do you have any idea how much stinginess it takes to save 1,000 coins? I can buy 1,000 coconuts from those 1,000 coins. Yes, you're right. But I also know that if you don't give me 1,000 coins, then your bones may break into 1,000 pieces. Anyway, I'll take your leave. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I'll pay. I'll pay. <laughs> Did the horse have to show its stunt at this exact moment? Hey, my hands are slipping now. Oh, don't let go, or else all of us will fall. Oh, 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 oh. Everything is ruined now. My coins. Dear, are you there? What happened to you? And how much did this coconut cost you? One thousand huh? coins. 
Wow, Chitra, you look fine now. Amma, your homemade remedy is really magical. Even I understood that Amma's homemade remedy is magical. But I hope you understood Amma's story. Uh, is it? Of course I understood. If Udanka had bought the coconut by paying five coins for the first time, he would have saved so many coins, and his bones as well might have been saved. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> now I get it. What did you get to pee? I understood that had I not been stinging in the first place and bought fresh vegetables from the market, then Chitra would have never fallen sick, and I wouldn't have had to trouble you in the first place. <laughs> I must leave now. Yes. To get fresh vegetables. <laughs> fresh vegetables. <laughs> By farm fresh, better than the rest. Discounted rates are their best vegetables. Wait, Uncle. Amma is coming to buy some. Here comes Gopi to have fun with the vegetable vendor. Yes, my dear. What would you like to have? <laughs> hey, hey, take it easy, Gopi. Oh, oh, calm down, calm down, Gopi. Why are you running after me? Leave me alone. <laughs> Saved by a whisker. <laughs> Let's see what all is available today. Red tomatoes, rosy carrots, leafy green spinach, and all purple brinjals. I have everything here, Amma, except me. Oh, what are you doing on the tree? It's not by choice, Amma. Gopi chased me up the tree. He forced me to climb it. <laughs> no, Gopi. Amma, cunning fruit. This is a jackfruit. Cunning fruit. Jackfruit. Cunning fruit. Jackfruit. Cunning fruit. Jackfruit. Come on, stop it, both of you. This is a jackfruit and a cunning fruit. That is a cunning jackfruit. Are you both happy jackfruit now? Jackfruit is a fruit, <laughs> not a vegetable. How can it be two things at once? <laughs> it is possible, Uncle. You will come to know once you hear the story of the cunning jackfruit. The cunning jackfruit, Amma. Now I'm really curious. You have to tell us this story now. Uh, please tell me this story. We, we want, want to listen, listen to, to the, the story, story too, Amma. It's story time with Sudhama. A merchant named Bhaskar used to sell his goods in Vijayanagar's market. But this time, apart from his fruits, grains and other goods he sold, he had something else in his cart. And that was his chubby little son, Bhanu Varma. Bhanu, come look around from here. You wanted to see Vijayanagar, didn't you? Beautiful city, father. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> hey, how are you, uncle? I'm fine, Bhaskar. Bhano, yes? give this gift basket to Chironji, uncle, uh, okay? Sure. Uh, uncle, uncle. Huh? Uh, uh, huh? What's this? Uh, uh. Huh? Ah, ghost! Huh? Ghost! Ghost! Huh? Save me! Save me! Oh, I almost forgot. Bhaskar's friend Chironji was a trader of cotton, wool, and other clothing goods. <laughs> Chironji, uncle! So, Yay! this time my little merchant friend has also come. <laughs> 
Bhanu, my son. Take this huh? coin and have huh? fun at the market, <laughs> while I and Chiranji uncle will finish some important huh? work. Okay, uh. father. <laughs> Bhanu Verma went around the market with the same excitement as that of a calf roaming freely in an open field. It was full of colorful shops, game stalls, and street performers. Aroma, ah ah, jalebi. Buy four for just one. What a steal! Come and get. Just four for one. In my village, we get six for one. Then go back and buy them. Come and buy. One for just one coin. You won't find it cheaper anywhere else. Just one coin for such a large fruit. This is a jackfruit, son. Ask your elders, they'll agree. Nothing comes close. Not even candies or jaggery. Go on, have a taste. Ha! Here's your coin, uncle. Huh? Ah, but this fruit is full of thorns. That's the peel. Cut it and eat the fruit inside. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. I'm definitely like my merchant father. I bought such a large fruit for just one coin. Father will be very happy. Hmm. Wow. Oh, thorns. Oh, oh, oh. Forget jaggery or candy sugar. Even honey doesn't taste this good. It tastes sweet, but it is very sticky. Hey, let go of my hand. I think he's having too much fun at the market. He will probably be back by the time we return from the royal palace. Then let's freshen up and leave. Come. His Majesty must be waiting for us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Bhanu Varma, tired from roaming around all day, fell fast asleep in his hiding place. Uh. Chungi, looks like there is nobody in this house. Uh, uh. Oh, they look like thieves. Uh. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Come on, let's take all the sheep we can carry, Chungi. Uh. Mungi, look. Look at this big fluffy thief. Yes, this one is as good as four. If I scream, everyone will show up here, including father. No, no, it's better. Better if I stay quiet. Chungi, are you sure? We didn't just steal a baby elephant instead of a sheep in the dark? My back is about to break holding it for so long. Come on, wake up. Mungi, looks like the sheep is too tired. <laughs> Just look, it's sleeping so peacefully. <laughs> <laughs>
A sheep that sneezes? Uh, uh, I'm not a sheep. I'm Bhanu Verma. Mungi, this is a talking sheep. <laughs> this is not a sheep. <laughs> it's a ghost. Ghost. Yeah. I am so scared. Huh? Uh, me too. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a ghost. What do we do now? Hey, stop! Don't you say hello to this ghost? Hey, come on, let's play together. Hey, this seems to be Bhanu's voice. Bhanu, my son, why are you dressed like this? Uh, uh, father, you? Mm. I didn't do anything. It's all that cunning jackfruit's fault. <laughs> The trick is to apply oil on your hands before you touch the jackfruit. But it's fine. At least you learn something new. Ah, <laughs> that's huh? true. What's in that bag, father? Bhanu, that's a gift from His Majesty King Vidyadhar. <laughs> wow, what's there in it? Huh? That cunning jackfruit again? I don't want to get into any sticky situation again. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you understand? The jackfruit is called a cunning fruit, as well as a cunning jackfruit. Amma, it was more fun listening to the jackfruit story than having a jackfruit curry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop now, children. Huh? What is this, Amma? It's rice, which you eat every day. <laughs> but it is available in packets at the shop. In packets? <laughs> <laughs> they reach those shops from the rice fields owned by farmers. That means farmers play a very important role in feeding us. Why are they so poor, Amma? Not everyone is like that. Some of them, like Kaveri, use their wit and very cleverly escape their poverty. Huh? Who is Kaveri, Amma? Here, my work is finished. So now I will tell you a story. Story! Yay! It's, it's story time with Amma. Amma. Kaveri lived in Vijayanagar and she owned a piece of very rocky land. She worked day and night to clear the rocks so that she could grow crops on the land. And her husband, Bridge, was the laziest person you could ever find. <laughs> Who feeds anyone while they are sleeping? Take it easy. If you are now out of your dreamland, why not to go to the field and use the oxen to plough the land? I'll plough it. Take it easy. Hmm. Kaveri luckily got a mango. But the sweet fruits of her efforts still evaded her. One day, as usual, when Kaveri was working in her field, then... <laughs> Sister, why are you wasting your precious efforts on this barren land? Why don't you sell it? Okay, let me buy it from you for a thousand mudras. Hmm? Is that too little? Okay, mm -hmm. why not 1500? Uh, uh, huh? There is certainly something fishy about his offer. Why would anyone want to buy a barren land? Kaveri's suspicion turned out to be true. 
Champak was a thief who wanted to build a tunnel from Kaveri's land to the temple to steal the jewels stored over there. Kaveri quickly thought of a trick. She said, Brother, this piece of land has been handed down for many generations by our ancestors. There's a secret. Uh, all our ancestors' wealth is buried below this land. Yes, my husband has even found the map of its exact location. And that's why he's sleeping so soundly. Mm. So you are not digging this land to cultivate it, but to find the hidden wealth of your ancestors. Not hidden wealth, but a bountiful treasure, brother. But this is a secret. Don't you worry, my lips are sealed. I had only come to steal the jewels in this temple, but now I'm going to get doubly rich with this hidden treasure. Come on, let's find the treasure. <laughs> it's not here. It's not here to... <laughs> not here either. I dug up the entire land. Huh, there is nothing here. Thus, using her wit, Kaveri managed to get the thief to do what she couldn't finish for so many uh -huh. days. Uh, how in the world did this happen? A few days later, the barren land had turned into a lush field with a fresh batch of crops. Using the profits from the first batch of crops, Kaveri bought a sari for herself, then a pair of earrings, and then, for bridge, a silky soft bed. Now, there were many new things in the house, except for the house itself. Oh, no! What do we do with this house? If you have finished building castles in the air, do something about this house. It's creaking and cracking in many places. Yes, yes, I'll think about it. Take it easy. Days, weeks and months passed by. Champa came to Vijaynagar again. And on seeing Kaveri wearing fancy clothes and jewelry, he guessed that she had found the hidden treasure which was buried in her field. Then what happened next was... Huh? Who are you? Just a traveler, sir. I need some place to spend the night. I'll leave at the uh -huh. break of dawn. The swindler had come in disguise, but uh -huh. that did not fool Kaveri. She saw the ring on his finger and immediately recognized him as the thief. Please move aside, dear. Kindly wait for a while. The thief was clever, but Kaveri was no less. Listen, tonight we have to go to my aunt's place. Did you forget? She's all alone at her house. But... Okay, but, okay, I understand. Uh, you are worried about the money and the jewels, right? Uh, Do not worry at all. I have hidden them so well in the walls of the house that no one will be able uh, to find them except me. Come what? on now, let's leave. We should not be late. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brother, please look after the house. We'll be back in the morning. Don't worry, sister. Soon after Kaveri and Bridge left, the thief started his work. <laughs> Poor fellow. Spent the entire night breaking down all the walls to find the hidden jewels and gems. <laughs> but the only thing he found were rats. <laughs> And pants. <laughs> and tears rolling down his eyes. <laughs> my house, my precious house is no more. 
Now where will I rest? Take it easy. Ah. This uh, house had already turned weak. Uh, How long what? would the plastered mud have lasted? And to build a new one, the old one had to be destroyed. Uh, and it would it? have cost a lot to destroy an old building. Yes. You should be glad that the thief uh -huh. did all this work for us free of cost. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's how, for the second time, Kaveri fooled the thief into doing her work. Kaveri's new home was built. The thief returned a third time to take his revenge, but in a different disguise. Buy some bangles, buy glass ones, buy wood ones, buy one you like the most. Hmm, uh, uh, the ring. This is the same cunning thief. I have to get rid of him once and for all. Sister, will you only stare at the bangles or will you buy some? Uh, oh, I have to buy many, not some. Uh, just wait a minute. I'll be back soon with the mudras. This time I'm not falling for any of her tricks. I'll look at it myself. Uh, 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 where are the mudras? They were placed somewhere here. Can't find them here too. Oh, so this innocent sister, fearing uh, thieves, has hidden the uh, money in the trees. <laughs> oh dear, what shall I do? I can't find any of the mudras. <laughs> Brother, I can't remember where I have kept all the mudras. Next time you're here, I'll definitely buy some bangles. Why next time, sister? Here, you can keep the entire lot for free. Huh? Kaveri, where is he going after giving you his entire stock of bangles? To search for wealth in the trunk of the trees. He's the same thief. This time I've played such a trick that I'm sure he'll never huh? return. He'll be dead before he finishes searching all the trees. <laughs> He would have if there was one. Instead, he found swarms of ants. And in some, there were snakes. Uh, snake! Uh, uh. And in some others, there were spiders. And in some, there were beehives. So, Amma, did the thief find any hidden wealth? Who knows? Huh? Has the thief come here looking for that wealth? <laughs> Amma, I don't want to play with Babu anymore. Me neither. Hmm. hmm. Who says I want to play either? Hmm. Well, that's strange. What happened to you, my dear little children? Why don't you want to play together today? Babu keeps going on and on about everything. He claims he can score 200 goals in a minute. 200? When did I say that? Oh, you said that in one minute, you can score as many goals as we tell you to. Didn't you? Really? Since when does that mean 200? It's your calculation that's wrong. But you started it, right? Oh, this is exactly how misunderstandings happen. Now, it's perfectly all right that you kids don't want to play together. But you can at least sit together and listen to my story. It's story time with Sudhama. Yay! In Vijayanagar, there once lived a woman named Santoshi, who was very talkative. And she loved gossiping. Normally, I don't bother to find out what happens in the neighborhood. But I can tell you from the smell of yummy sweets that there's something going on at Suresh's place, but who cares? Like he hit a jackpot or something, but who cares? I 
think he's going to get a lot of money. Doesn't matter anymore to me. But who cares? She keeps track of everything that goes on in the village. And still she says, I don't care. Come back tomorrow, all right? Then I'll tell you the rest. Ah, uh, don't you huh? ever get tired of gossiping about people all day? Huh? All I do is talk about people, okay? You make up stories about them. But who cares? Keep making them. And I've been telling you for so long. Tear down this old hut and build something new. But who cares? You won't listen. Huh? <laughs> huh? This worn out hut? Uh, yes, Santoshi, come out and see. There's such a rare, wonderful white crow sitting on the hut. Come out fast. Rare crow? Hmm? 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 What kind of a crow is this? I can't even spot the crow on the roof. But if it's rare, it must be exciting news. I better pretend like I can see it. Oh, yes, yes. Absolutely. It's so unique, right? <laughs> I'll be right back from the market. You just make sure that no one else finds out about this rare crow. Ganesh had told Santoshi not to utter a single word to anyone about the crow. But how could Santoshi stay quiet? Off she went to tell her neighbors all about it. Hey, what's that? Santoshi, is that you? Who comes in like that? Oh, forget about how I came. This morning itself, I spotted a very rare crow on our rooftop. Huh? A rare crow? But who cares? As soon as I saw it, I came running here to tell you. What was so rare about it, huh? Oh, it was a white crow. A white crow? It was so huge, you know. As big as a buffalo. As big as a buffalo? <gasps> the crow has such big horns. Such a long, long tail. Huh? <gasps> a crow with a tail? Really? Why would I lie to you? I have to go. Listen, don't tell it to anyone. This is such big news. How can I keep it to myself? I must tell someone. Let me go and share it with Vimalavati. <laughs> oh, come on. You are sitting here polishing your bangles huh? when there is something much more exciting happening at Santoshi's house. What do you mean? Do you know there was a white crow sitting on her roof today? A white crow. A big one. But I'm sharing this news only with you. Please keep this as a secret, okay? That means my grandmother was right. Where there is a white crow, there is usually some kind of hidden treasure nearby. <laughs> Do you hear, dear? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Every time I'm about to write something, you come and ruin everything. <laughs> yes, yes. We are all about to get ruined. Uh -huh. Those two, Santoshi and Ganesh, are about to become millionaire without even lifting a finger. You and your silly dreams. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a dream. It happened for real. <laughs> Santoshi and Ganesh saw a rare white crow on their roof today, which was very huge. Just like a Rawat Indra's chariot. And you know what they say about white crows? There definitely must be a treasure hidden somewhere in their house. What? Is that so? Hmm. Ah, the rumor has finally reached the right person. Oh, hi, Kamlesh. What brings you here today? Ganesh, I heard there was a strange bird on top of your huh? hut's roof. Is that true? Uh-huh. Hmm? 
How do you know that? Don't let anyone else know. And specially, no one from the royal palace should know about it. Don't you worry, Ganesh. Huh? I won't tell anyone about this. <laughs> of course you will. Kamlesh, who never liked Santoshi and Ganesh and was envious of them, immediately told the royal guard at the palace about the white crow. Wonderful! Each and everything in this kingdom belongs to our king. I will dig up the treasure and bring it straight to his majesty. Excellent! Commander, sir, uh, what brings you here? Is everything all right? Yes, but not for long, understand? Once I find the hidden treasure inside your hut, then you and your husband are going to get into trouble for hiding it from his majesty. <laughs> Soldiers, prepare to tear down that old hut immediately. What? The soldiers started digging around the hut and the entire village waited to see if they had found any treasure. <laughs> Commander, there is nothing here. What? Kamlesh! Who told you that there was a treasure over here? Uh, uh, Vimlavati did. My grandmother used to say, wherever there is white crow, there is always some treasure to be found. I have heard this tale too. Tell me, who saw that white crow? Satya Bhama did. Not just white, it was as big as a buffalo. And not just horns, it also had a tail. Santoshi was the one who told me about it. Uh, yes, I did, but I... Uh... But what? Speak now or we shall imprison you for your life. Huh? No, no, sir, I apologize. I was just... Uh, I never thought the tail would become the location of a treasure. Uh, sorry, sir. Hey, make sure she's careful with her stories from now on. Uh... Otherwise, you will soon be living in a prison. Uh... Let's get out of here. Let's go. What a waste of time. Huh? Huh? After that incident, no one ever believed Santoshi's words. Now, children, you might be wondering why Ganesh was so happy after the hut was brought down. Well, thanks to the story of the wonderful white crow and Santoshi being a loud mouth, he managed to get his work done for free. And on the empty land, he planted a nice big garden. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Amma. Now I'll always think twice before I talk about anything. Oh, you've understood both the story and its lesson. Now time for me to cut down the dry banana leaves on those trees. Babu, didn't you say you could score as many goals as we asked you to? Absolutely! Just tell me how many to score. Cut down those dry leaves first and then we'll see. Why not? Here you go! <laughs> oh! How did this happen? You kids saved me several hours of work. It wasn't me. I actually followed what Ganesh did. The way Ganesh got others to do his work through Santoshi in the story. Similarly, I got your work done through Babu. Hey! You guys tricked me into doing this. They didn't trick you, Babu. You learned one thing from the story. And they learned something else. <laughs> <laughs>